Hey, Machine Gun Dad um, here. Welcome back, or welcome to. Yeah, please hit the like and subscribe. Oh, I fucking hate asking for that, but please hit the like and subscribe button. I'm begging for crap, apparently. Um, Fidel, who's been on a couple videos recently, got permission from his boss to bring down some submachine guns that I don't have for us to try out. Um, I don't know which one's going to be posted first, so we're just going to talk about like this is the first one. So this is the first one, or the second one, depending on which way the videos go up. This is an original Madsen M50. Um, since it's Fidel's gun, or it's his boss's gun, we're going to get him in camera before we talk about it. So let's get out on the range and give it a whirl. We're out on the range, we're going to try the Madsen out. If you remember in the intro, I said that these were used in science fiction a lot, Star Trek, stuff like that. I've already locked it open, I'll put it in here now. If I'm not mistaken, I should have like the Star Trek theme song going. Da -da 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 like Jim Carrey did in the one movie. Although I don't think I'll be able to do that <clears throat> and shoot the gun. So I'll just go da -da 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 and we'll give this a whirl. Oh boy, is that sight terrible. I can't see shit through that sight, so I'm gonna aim over. Everything was hot. We'll give Fidel a whirl at it. We were just outside. We shot the Madsen. I didn't hit squat. I, every round I threw is a snake in the grass about four foot high because I looked over the sight. I, my, I can't see these tiny little sights, it's my eyes or whatever. But felt recoil, super nice, super yeah. smooth. Um, and as if you heard me talking, um, why this gun is significant isn't really because of who used it militarily, at least not in my mind. This was the science fiction TV show's bad guy gun because it was it's a nondescript gun that the average American viewer wouldn't even know what it is, but they know it's a submachine gun by what it looks like. So, if you heard if you already saw me making the Star Trek reference, there's an episode of Star Trek where they land on a planet that's run by Romans, and all the Roman guards are running around with Madsen M50s. Well, it's just something to think about. That, mo that show was filmed in 67, 66, and, and early 68, before the Gun Control Act of 1968. So every one of those guns in that show are transferable. Huh. So maybe someday somebody will find a Star Trek prop gun. I'm not sure. I'm sure there were dummy guns, and, and the only time they needed real ones was when they were firing blanks. But my impression of the gun, other than the sights, is it's pretty much fun to shoot. I'll let you go into it and what you thought. Uh, overall, Rico felt nice. Gun that felt very controllable. Um, I'm new to sub guns, so uh, I did find it uh, different uh, as the gun kept cycling when I just dumped the mag. Uh, there's just smoke everywhere. You're not used to all that crap coming yeah, out of the side. So it was hard to pick out the plate in that, but I still got some on it, I'm pretty sure. A lot of that has to do, well, we were using, well, some of it was brass ammo, but we were also using Wolf, which is more smoky than regular ammo. Okay. It's dirtier. Um, one of the features about this gun, which to me is absolutely stupid, of course it fires from an open bolt, that's not the big deal. The big deal is that. It doesn't fire. And the reason it doesn't fire is you've got to squeeze in this forward grip safety. You're in combat, you're wounded, you're a police officer, you're wounded, you're a civilian and you're fighting with this gun and you're wounded. How are you gonna run this gun with one hand? With your feet? You're gonna be running duct tape or something around yeah. the front, but if you're wounded, are you gonna have time to run duct tape around the front of the grip? Probably not. If I was using this gun in combat, to be totally truthful, I'd get a big piece of rubber inner tube and wrap it right around there. But the problem with that is... Cover your mag release. Here's your mag release. So, 
They were thinking for safety, but not thinking for practicality when they built this gun. But the gun shoots nice. The funny thing is, and uh, Fidel doesn't have a lot of... I'm going to turn him into a sub-gun shooter here. This gun feels very tinny in your hand, because it's literally two pieces of metal pressed together. And I'm not going to do a field strip. There's a lot of videos on this gun on a field strip, and more on the history. But I didn't have one. He was kind enough to bring one. So we're, we want to show it to you. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you're out of rental range, you get a chance to shoot one. It's definitely worth shooting, and, and it's very pleasant to shoot. And if you're young like him and you can see, and you're not an old guy with glasses that look like Coke bottles, this tiny little rear sight probably won't bother you as much. Although, when you fired it on burst and it started smoking, could you see anything out of the sight then? Barely. Like I said, it was hard to pick the plate out, but I could still pick it out. Yeah, and we, have, and we did better today. I actually painted the plates today. Either way, thanks again. Thanks for coming to the channel. Beg, 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 hit the like, subscribe button. See you soon.